Hey guys, this is Mike here from Ball and Bowers, and what you're looking at um, is the third litter of the season. The first litter uh, slug out in March, uh, March 19th, and then as you guys know, um, six days ago we had our Nic uh, first 100% uh, Nicaraguan litter. And what you're looking at right here, um, so it doesn't look like she proved out to be a um, head uh, albino, uh, but she did breed with the albino and also um, the Nicaraguan male. So when I get these out, these could be half, just um, half Colombian, half Nicaraguans. Only one slug I see, but I do see uh, one or two stillborns in the back. So uh, without any further ado, guys, let's get them out of here. Oh, I need some water. All right, guys, well, we got one baby right here. All right, this one's still in the sack, guys. All right, beautiful, beautiful little baby, guys. And these look really healthy. 113 days past POS. All right, guys, we got another baby. That's number three. This one's still in the sack. There it goes, number four. And these look like they might be um, actually full Colombian. Um, they just don't look like she, she didn't prove out head albino. But um, where well, she mated with the albino Colombian, so these ones will actually be head albino. So that will be actually really cool. So it looks like the albino got the job done. All right, guys, here comes number five. And it's breathing, looks good. And I'll get some water and clean these up after. Here comes number six. Nice, that one's got a little striping on the tail. Is number seven. Oh, that one's got an outside yoke. That's all right. We'll let him soak that up, and he'll soak that up in a few days. So it's not a big outside yoke. So that's really good when you get them in there. Really, really big, massive outside yokes. That's what you really want to worry about. So that's a small one. So I'm pretty sure that it'll make it. Tear any cords off here. All right, we got another one that's in the sack right here. If we can find its way out, up oh, there it is. All right, guys, so no outside yoke on that one. Just an only a little bit of a yoke, outside yoke on this one right here. And that one's a little bit smaller than the rest, it looks like. So, uh, But he looks pretty good and healthy, and he's got tail movement already. So, and no kinks, and so he's looking pretty good. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. These are real slimy. Eight, nine. You always want to look for head movement and tail movement. And these are really nice looking babies, guys. So we got number 10 coming out. Oh, I need to, should have had the water like I did last time. Yep, that's three, six, yep, ten so far. And we only got one slug. 
That's it, just one slug, guys. And I think I do see one stillborn back here, possibly. All right, we got number 11 coming out. So far, there's only one with a little bit of an outside yoke. And as you see, guys, right here, that's um, an outside yoke. That's what it looks like right there. And what I'll do is I'm going to have to put this one by itself in a bin and, you know, let them um, let it soak up. It's, you know, it's a little bit of yolk, but it's a very small yolk right there. It's very, very small. Usually you can get them and they're really, really big and that's that's not too good. Sometimes uh, sometimes they'll perish, but this one seems to be doing really well. So um, I'm, I'm pretty certain it will soak up the rest of that little bit of yolk and it's going to be just fine. So I think that was what, number 11, guys? I think we have another outside yoke too. All right, we got an outside yoke on this one, guys. Oh, oh, there it is. So yeah, they look like they'll be all right. They just gotta. If his tail is in that yoke. Let's get that. Let's try to get his tail wrapped around him. Oh man, that yoke is wrapped around him. Is that bad? Oh, he'll slither out of it hopefully. Oh, we'll just leave him alone for now and hopefully he'll just get himself out of it. And uh, that's a little big yoke, so, um, but I'm pretty certain he'll soak that up. So that's two with an outside yoke. She had no slug, so that's pretty good. Here comes another one that one's good so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen this one's got a tiny little bit of yolk as you see right there guys just a little little bit not much at all though so these three I will keep in a little container and this one's just got barely any yolk, guys. See that? That'll be soaked up hopefully in about a day or two. I'm hoping that it's all right because it's... Oh, well, it's nope. Tongue flicking. Tail movement. Oh, yeah. So that'll be, that'll, that one will be perfect. So that's number 14. Fifteen. This will be number sixteen. Tongue flicking, good tail movement, no yolk, no outside yolks, guys. So that's awesome. So that was what? Sixteen. One, two, three, four. Right, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, yep, sixteen. Looks like we got eighteen babies, guys. There's another one coming out. No outside yoke, guys. Number seventeen. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Only one slug, guys. One slug, that's it. And here comes number 18, guys. And this one's got no outside yolk either, guys. Nice. All right. So what you're looking at is a batch of Colombian head albino boas. So that's awesome, guys. I'll get these guys washed off in some, uh, some water. And I'll check around in there to make sure that we don't have 
any other, but I don't think we do. We just got a bunch of goo. But good thing I put cardboard to kind of help, but she moved the cardboard. So all we had was one slug, and then we have three that have outside yolks, but one of them has a really tiny outside yolk. Well, two of them, and kind of worried about this one right there with the big outside yolk. So if anything, we, we could lose that one, but I don't think we're going to. I really don't think we're going to lose it, guys. I think if I put it in a bin by itself, it's going to soak up a lot of that um, a lot of that yolk. And, of course, that one has a really nice tail, too. <laughs> so hopefully that one will survive. But uh, So we'll get it in a bin. And um, this is Mike from Ball and Boas, guys. And when we get these ones cleaned up, we'll do another video to show you how they progress. But this is Mike from Ball and Boas saying peace.